So just another quick video about Virtual DJ 2023 and the stems part of it and a new feature called Stems Saved Folder that was released in the latest version of Virtual DJ 2023. So what's that about? Well, as you probably know, the, you can have prepared stems in Virtual DJ. Now what's that? Well, that's, that's if you choose to have the separation done beforehand so it's just ready for use instead of being separated on the fly. This can be specifically relevant if your computer is a bit slower, a bit older, doesn't have a GPU, so it struggles to do it on the fly. Like this one, what are we recording this on? So if I look at my track files here in a, in a favorite folder, so basically just a place on the hard drive, you can see I have one of them that has a little blue tick uh, on the icon here. And that means that it has some stems prepared for it. So if I load that track, then this little tick that I've set up will get there instantly because the tracks are ready instantly. So if I try uh, using them, you can see that they work right away. And that's expected because it's prepared stems, right? Um, but there's also actually another one of these tracks that have prepared stems. It's just not the 2.0 versions. Only the 2.0 version gets this little tick. But if I go into prepared stems here, you can see that Ladybird's Mate, RKC track, actually also have prepared stems, but it doesn't have a tick because it's old uh, 1.0 version of the separation, which is now called reduced quality. So if I load that one, I'll also get my tick right away. Uh, and if I play... You can see that I can use the stems right away, but it says stems fast here instead, uh, because it's a lot faster for real-time separation, but uh, at a reduced quality, the old quality, the old 1.0 quality, right? So I actually have two of them. And if I go down here, like I did just before, you can see both of them. You can see the latest bird made one and the surfing one, which were the two ones we've been looking at, and only one of them has a tick. But the important part right now here is that if I go back to RKC and I right click somewhere here uh, and then I go into file operations and open an explorer, then you can see that the stems file has been separated previously, prepared stems, one for the surfing one and one for the ladybird's mate here. They're actually located as VDJ stems file right next to the track files. So that's how they're stored when you do prepared stems or at least that was how they were stored uh, up until now. Because people are complaining that uh, that they didn't want this stuff, uh, this, uh, prepare, this prepared stems, the separated stems, if you will, to be located in the same folder, keeping it a, a, a bit uh, unclean, leaving a little bit of a mess. So a new feature was invented. That's the, new, the one called stems save folder. So if I go into settings and virtual DJ, Go into performance where the stems are, and then you have this new one called stems saved folder. So I can either paste one in there, type one, or I can use this one to pick one somewhere on the hard drive. So actually I've already prepared one. So if I go back into over here, you can see that I have my virtual DJ folder, and inside that one I have a stems folder. And that's empty at the moment. So that's why I plan to put my prepared stems from now on up. So I'll just copy this one. That's gonna be a little bit faster. And then paste it in here. And now I've told it to put my new separate stems there. So let's try separating some more stems, right? So I go back here and pick the next one, Cockroach Untouched, and I tell it to prepare stems for it. So it takes a, it takes a little while here. So let's go back and look at what's being done. So if I go over here, you can see we now have a new folder. That still looks a little weird. It's called user in a couple of weird letters and then RKC, which we can certainly recognize and then some more weird stuff. So it looks like it's taken some of the path, uh, the first part and some of the last part of the path and then maybe something like a, a checksum or something like that to, ge to generate a folder that it can recognize. But if we look into it, we can see that the actual track uh, name of stems, separated stems name, if you will, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's exactly the same as before. So that part hasn't changed. It's just put in a new subfolder in the folder that we tell it to put it in now. So that's probably how it locates them. So uh, 
What happens then if we pick another one from the exact same folder because it's just a favorite folder, so it's just a place on the drive, right? So we take wasp kill and we do the same thing. So I say pet stems and I go back to my folder again. Then you can see that it's actually currently a temp file because it's still calculated, separating if you will. But as soon as this turns to 100%, this will spit switch into a VTJ stems file instead. But the more important part is that it's actually in this exact same folder. So that means that we can trust that everything that's in a folder uh, on the hard drive that we have separated the stems are is going to be uh, go into the same subfolder in our new stems safe folder. Uh, that gives us a little bit of a trick, if you will, for people who have already done a lot of stem separation. If a lot of those stems are in the same physical folder on the hard drive, you can actually just drag them into this new folder after you've separated or re-separated just one of the tracks. So if we go to the other folder again and look here, we can check, for instance, this Ladies Bird Mate one, and I drag that over to the new folder like this. And then if I go back here and just tell it to move it out of Dropbox, that's not, not something that happens if you're not running Dropbox. But then if I go back here now and go in and take this new one, that was Ladies Bird Mate, right? Uh, up here, so I have now moved that in. It's not been calculated, it's not been separated in there, it's just been moved in there. Then when I load it again, reload it, have to unload it, reload it, it still gets the stem separation right up. And it works. So it figured out that yeah, I've moved them in there so that it's not in the general uh, in the general place that it was before, which is the same place as the actual track. So that seems to work. So that means that you can actually do a little bit of a hack like that if you have a lot of tracks in the same physical folder on the hard drive that you've done separated separation on already, you can track them into this new place. So it's a little bit of a help, but not a lot. So it'd be nice if someone made like a little, uh, little utility so you could get these folders generated uh, so you can just drag some of all the old stuff in there without needing to, to re-separate uh, the stems that you already spent so much time separating, especially if you're doing it with a 2.0 separation and doesn't and don't have the fastest laptop. Um, another thing that actually is working is that if I choose to move one of these tracks, so if I want to choose to move the wasp kill one, for instance, I want to put it in another place in the hard drive, then I can right click it and I can go into file operations and I can move it into another place uh, by moving move to and I'm going to use move it into this bucket one which is also just a place in hard drive because it's a uh, it's 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 a favorite folder right so file operations move to and then this one bucket so now it of course moves it and it's moved over here so it's been moved into here, but it actually figures that out because now if I go into this folder and go one step up, you can see it now has a secondary folder, uh, which is for the new bucket one. You can actually see it a little bit here, right, in the name. So it's actually moved was kill over here by itself, so that still works. So if I grab it and move it into here, I still get it. <coughs> Instant stems that just work because it figured out how to move the uh, the step separated stems along with it, even though it was in this new folder. And as you've probably guessed by now, it can still just mix and match this stuff. So some of the old stuff that's still located right uh, in the original folder here, like for instance this one, the the surfing one. Uh, even though I've set it up to use a specific new folder the new stem safe folder, if I go in here and grab this one, the surfing one, put it up here, try using the stems, it will be still instant. And the stems will still work. So you can still do uh, the old uh, uh, old way, uh, like uh, if you have a lot of already separated stems that you don't want to struggle to move into this new folder structure, and you certainly don't want to uh, uh, recompute or re-separate the stems, you can still uh, use the new feature for the new stems that's coming in, 
and keep the other ones next to the track files. So this feature can be mixed and matched. So this was just basically just a short intro, but of course the most important part is to look in here and say, from now on, where do I want my stem, separated stems kept if I want to prepare them? And I don't want to keep them next to the track file. That is really the feature.